Hello and welcome to rounds 15 and 16 of this Toka 2 Blundering Touring Cars Championship. I'm Nick at the steering wheel, or well, sometimes at the steering wheel, sometimes I treat it just like a bar of soap and I go spinning off all over the place. But for somehow we seem to be winning the championship from uh, Anthony Reid, so let's do another two races. Welcome to the annual touring cub visit to Norfolk and the exciting Snetterton circuit. Thanks, Tiff. And the sun is beating down. Good. Perfect weather for the big crowd who've turned out today. Big crowd. Try and see if you can see any. I bet that you can't. Um, Snetterton, yep, as Tiff says in Norfolk in England, this track was originally opened in 1953 for you historian buffs, and it was developed from an old RAF airfield. Now we're leading the championship at the moment, so let's prepare to qualify, let's not mess this up. Just one lap of the track to get that all-important grid position. Snetterton. So this track isn't as bad as some, it's quite easy to learn might seem awkward initially but um, it's got a lot of fast corners on it car doesn't seem to spin out as um, as often as it does on other circuits as long as it doesn't rain we'll probably be quids in so let's try and get pole position now we're past the halfway stage in the championship now uh, this is a tricky bend this is now this is a very very long straight so I've taken off a bit of downforce Right, this is a tough bend to get right, which I haven't. Oh dear! Oh dear. Yes. So that's the. Uh, there's two bits I can go wrong there. That bend, and round here, where I tend to be a bit quicker than the opposition, um, I seem to break really late for a tight chicane. Uh, right then left. It's quite easy to get this wrong. Right, break. Yeah, that that was awful. Well, um, I'm not sure I was strictly on the track there. I think a pole position tends to be about 1 minute 6 around here. Uh, what am I doing? About 1 minute 11 is that? 1 minute 10. Let's see where that time puts him on the grid. So at the end of the session... Yep, Rydell is first. Is this is a replication of the 1998 Rydell. season. So that or is it 99 season? One of those two anyway. At the start. Ricard Rydell was to be the championship but not in this blundering series. Now I should, I say this every round, I should, really should muck about with my gearing so I get quicker acceleration. But I'm quite happy with the setup. As long as I don't get tagged by anyone, which quite often I do, I'm cooking. A good rule of thumb on this is you don't really need to break around the first corner of any of the circuits. You can pretty much floor it all the way round. So we start in sixth place. I just need to get through these two and maintain my uh, lead in the championship really. Well, that isn't a bad start, now they're gone. So when we hit about third gear they disappear. This is a pretty quick um, corner here, so hopefully someone might duck down the inside. Oh, I think they've just touched me slightly. Well, it might be my imagination. Tight break in here. Right, I think we survived for once. Hooray, the wonders never cease. So we've got David Leslie in the Nissan just ahead. Muller behind. Nissan, um, Leslie is uh, in the best car in the game. But he's not really going to be a factor in this championship, I don't think. Might have a look down the inside. Oh, this is a bit risky. Whoa! Forces us wide. Cut back in again. So that worked out somehow. Whoa! Now I'm a lot quicker through this bit, as I said in the qualifying lap. Now behind my teammate Menu. Try and give him a bit of space, because we want to win the constructors as well. Right, just follow him through here. Try and be early on the acceleration. Whoops, up the inside. Well, that was amazing. I hope I haven't bashed... Yeah, where is he? I think I just knocked him off the circuit. Oops. Sorry, Alain Menu. He's a Swiss driver. Yeah, that's... So I've got Reed behind me and Rydell in front of me. I just need to finish ahead of Reed each time. Could do with Reed having a bad race at some point, but he rarely does. So let's just follow Rydell through here. Just see if we can get close enough to... Oops, bit wide. Check reverse. Yeah, gave Reed a chance. So... If I can just follow Rydell here, wait, bide my time and get a good overtaking position. He's gone, is he? I'm just about to see him. Right, just hold on to second place. Don't do anything stupid. Like that bridge, a lot of fans up there. Remember, Tiff Nadell said it was packed here. I don't know where they put the stands. Here comes a stand. Is it half empty or are there people in it? 
Right, if I can get close to him here, there may be a chance, but I don't want to spin off. In second place would be good as well, as long as we finish ahead of Reed. Might be a chance here. No, just on the... Oh, no, he's got the inside. I think we're quicker than Rydell. We'll quite evenly match through here. Right, I'm not going to win... I'm not going to wimp out and just stay behind him the whole time. I'm going to find a find a gap and get past. Oh, he's broke there. Right, might have a chance. Coming on the outside. Nope. Break here. Just concentrate and stay on the circuit. He pushed me a bit wide there. Hmm. This is going to take a bit of thinking about. I think this is our longest battle, I think, so far in the championship. Get out of the way, Rydell. He's from Sweden. Right, might be able to get close here. Whoops. Well offline. Hmm, this is going to be a tough one, this. Lost a lot of time there, but should be able to gain a bit through here. Reed, 0.93 seconds behind. Got to be wary of that scat from Scotland. That's a good entry. Get on the accelerators. Yeah, I gained loads here now. Now, now, now. Come on, second. First place will be a touch. Two laps to go. Yeah, I just said that, pit crew. I'm well aware of it. Right, if we can line him up okay for here, this is our best chance. Inside this time. Outside before it didn't work. Gone down the inside. We break for this. Oh, my word. I think we've got him, have we? Yeah, he's eased off. Right, okay. I'll try my best, pit crew. Yeah, we're not dropping him, are we? He's just behind us. But one lap after this one, I think we can probably just block him sufficiently. Position the car well. Just take it steady, but not too steady. A race win on the sprint race would be great. So I started off pretty average in this championship, and now things are coming good. Hopefully now I can start easing away. What do you reckon? Got a chance? I hope so. Thank you for staying with me in this championship. Why am I doing this championship? Well, when I originally reviewed Toka 2, I was pretty hopeless at it. Didn't get past the first track, Fruxton didn't get enough points. So I thought we'd come back to it. It was either this or Colin McRae 2, which we might also do as a blundering series, but not for a while. There's not enough hours in the day, you know. I wish I could do loads. Whoops. Right, this is the last lap, and we've got a big gap there. We could probably coast all the way to the finishing line. I don't want to get too confident. There's no mechanical failures in this game by Codemasters, which is pretty good for me, because I'd hate the car to blow up now. He's off the accelerator through here. I mean, I like, I like that the tracks are sufficiently different from each other. You don't see those, uh, those rumble strips, the green and white ones, on any other track, as far as I'm aware. So they're all unique, which is good, although the clouds might be the same. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they're very similar. Yeah, he won't. As long as I stay on the track, he won't overtake me through here, even if he's got close. Good, good, good. First place, please. Thank you very much. Let's go and see my uh, mad fans in the pit lane after this. Boom. Tiff. Say something, Tiff. Tiff. Thought Tiff was going to say something. Here's a rundown of the final Thanks, Tiff. placings. Another stylish got it by 1.4 or so seconds. Reed third. So we got five points extended on Reed in the championship. My teammate was fifth, but thanks to me, because I, I think I may have knocked him off the circuit at some point, which probably wasn't very friendly. Hopefully he doesn't remember, but uh, the computer AI on this isn't the best, so they hold no grudges. Right, where's the fans? Come on, fans. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Now, there's people on the left that are clapping facing the wrong direction. What's that about? They're clapping at something else. Someone's just falling over on a banana skin. They're clapping that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first place. Now, is it too much to ask for to come first in the feature race as well? Maybe. 
Right, uh, we'll keep all this the same. Downforce, we knocked it down by two bars. We'll keep it the same in this. Top speed of these cars tend to be about 137 miles an hour. Some cars do 138, so we might not be in the quickest car, but there's not a great deal in it. Right, let's see if we can get, get pole this time. Stay on the track. Remember, about a lap of about 1 minute 6 will be pole position, probably. Occasionally, the computer drivers go into 1 minute 5. But, uh, you know, I think I could do a 1 minute 6. Maybe dip into the fives. But at the same time, not spin off the circuit. Which is always a bonus, isn't it, really? No one likes to drive clean off the road into a hedge. Right, we'll just coast round here, brake, hit the... Oh, didn't really hit the apex. Throw it for all you worth round here. Probably coast it into the chicane. Try and brake at the right point. Coast it round eat early on the accelerator. Right, very tricky to get right this this bit. A little bit slow. A little bit wide. Right, one minute six, please. One, two. Mm, I think this is slightly slow, is it? Not sure about that. One minute six point seven, I think I saw. Pole, get in. Well pole one minute six point eight two. Head of Thompson, head of Leslie, reads fourth in the Nissan. Good. Hopefully Cleland can get past him. Now I need for Reed to have a bad one. My teammate's in ninth. That's not, not going to help with the um, Constructors' Championship. If you haven't got enough points in this game, they're quite um, quick to sack you, but your opponent, your teammate, never gets sacked. Figure that out. And it isn't going to rain again, so game on. The green flag is out, which means we're ready to start today's feature race. We sure are. Right, how many people are going to go past me at the start? I mean, a few might go past me, but then as long as I can keep speed up, then we're on to a quick straight. Just don't want to get hit off the circuit. Right, the two are already going for the inside, so I'll cut that off. Someone's going to come down the right. That might be Reed. It might be Leslie, actually. Cut in. Well, he hasn't got past. Brilliant. I think that's the first race I've actually maintained my position, isn't it? Oops. Right. Yep. Muller somehow got past me. Well, that wasn't too bad, really. First to second. Muller has had a great start. If I can get him early, because he's not the quickest of cars, typically. Get him here. Right, is he on my right? I'm winning there. Miles. Oh no! Oops! Don't try that at home, folks. I think everyone had to break. Eighth place. Not as bad as if it had been in the feature race and I'm still alive. That's not the end of the world, I don't think. I mean, it's quite a short lap here. We've got 12 laps to do this. Let's see. I mean, overtaking isn't particularly easy. There's a couple of places, but I prefer to do what I have done on other races where I pit early, put them some quick laps in empty space and overtake them when they're in the pits, which we might do now. Depends how quickly we catch up, these boys. I'm not sure. It might be Cleland ahead. They all pretty much drive the same, though. There's no, no individual, uh, as far as I'm aware, driver AI on this. It is Cleland. under braking that's where we're going to do our damage there's no one behind me for some distance under the bridge there's all the fans hello yeah it's very short distance there to make up the other cars seem to take a wide line through this kink especially the next one I just, I'm conscious I don't want to spin off here. Because we're going we're gonna to go in the pits. We're going to go in the pits. Hopefully none of these people in front of me go in the pits. Because often they go in quite slow. Yeah, I don't fancy trying to overtake three cars. In. Oh, one other's gone in. Might be Will Hoy. I will do. But it's all automatic. Oh, 10% damage. I took a knock. My windscreen smashed again. That was Binkcliffe in front of me, was it? 
Right, quick boys, quick. Will I be 16th when I come out of here? Back of the back of the t the race. Break. Break. I won't mind a break, a tea break. Go, 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 go. I think I drew drove through that stop man. 14th. Right, this is where I earn my money now. Keep putting in quick laps. Quick, quick, quick. Now, I don't know when everyone else is going to pit. Oh, that... Ooh, ooh. Thought I was going to spin off then. Now, it might have been Rydell that came in in front of me, not Will Hoy. So, 14th place. We're chasing now. Hopefully everyone we can overtake in the pits. I think the next race after this is Fruxton, right? And it's a ridiculous circuit because it's um it's fog, right? And the visibility and it seems like it's at night. Anyway, the visibility is absolutely terrible. So if I get onto that one, which uh, I'm sure I will with the points I've got, that the the well, can I speak? No. The aim of that, I've got back to English again. The aim of that is just to complete the race, I think. But that's all to come. 14th. Let's see if we can sneakily get past a few people here. It's tough to drive and comment at the same time. Quite often I drive off the circuit when I'm trying to think of the right vocabulary. Right, so no one pitted there. We stay in fourth and I can't see anyone either. Full speed it through here. Don't even ease off. But of course brake here. And it's very tricky then. Accelerate when you get halfway round. I see someone in front of me. It's Muller, I think. Who overtook us near the start. Come on. Coming up to the bridge. Whoosh. Coast round here. Brake. Try and get the apex, which I never do. I think in real life, I think that car will be broken. Did he, my teammate just say team just say these guys will let me by I don't think they will I don't think they will they, oh, they can't be lap riders on lap 4 rewind that what did they say I might have been talking over the top of it there's no way I'm lapping people now unless they've been stuck behind some scenery or something right has anyone pitted that's the main thing check it we're in 14th 12th and fastest lap as well so two people pitted, we've got past two people in the pits. Two places outside the points. But you know, this championship is just between me and Anthony Reid now. With about four or five uh, meetings to go. Someone needs to start winning all the races to put me under pressure. So it's just where Reid comes, to be honest. And uh, there's nowhere to find out what position he's in at the moment. until I, Well, unless I come up to him post round here so as you can see the smaller laps are quite easy to um, learn hopefully I'm making this look a lot easier than it is if you've got this game put it in and see how far you get and say oh yeah Nick's generally rubbish at games but he isn't too bad at this one mind you he's had enough practice blunder blundering right I'm generally okay at racing games until I go online and then I realize I'm very very slow I wasn't bad at F1 2012, I think it was, or was it 2010? Anyway, one of those. I weren't too bad at that online. But everyone online in a Formula 1 game is mad and always will be. Especially if they put it in reverse gear straight from the start of the grid, the start of the race, which they often do. Because they're filming it for YouTube, they want to make the biggest crash ever, which um, doesn't really fit with someone that wants the best Formula 1 experience ever. Right, 11th. Muller just tacked the side of us. Yeah, I don't like I don't like someone that close and boxy. Yeah, look at that. Smooth graphics there. Well, it's the PlayStation One. Just goes to show you, playability is everything. And this game, this game, the computer AI, the playability, the speed of it is is perfect in my opinion. I love it. So you know, I super duper graphics are great and everything, but you need the playability. That's the key thing. That's number one. Second thing, well, then the graphics. I'd like to have both if I could. Right, okay, let's line this, this fellow up. Right, 11th. Let's overtake some people in the pits. 
Who is that? Can you read the windscreen? It's Muller. Ninth. We're up into ninth. So we're in the points now. Right, let's find a place to catch Muller. We're going to go dart on the inside, I think. Got him. Oops. Almost done myself under braking, but that worked out really well. That was like a Daniel Ricciardo sort of move. Late braking, in the inside, room. Right, eighth. We could, we could win this race still, I think. Everyone tends to break there, I tend to coast. And then I reach this corner too quick a lot of the time, or most of the time. I'll get it right one day. But um, we've got the luxury of being much quicker through this bit. Let's see how much I gain on this fella in front of me just through this section. Not much. Whoops. You see, look, we're visibly closer there. Right, seventh, check the pits, check the number, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, top four. This is fantastic, I'm delighted with this. Who is that in front of me? Is it Ricard Rydell? I bet it is. Fourth, that's great. Just keep it going, really. So in Right, so I'm going to have to overtake him. It is Ricard Rydell. In the feature race, the cars tend to get a bit spread out, so even if I do, do drive off the circuit or spin, I should be able to come back on and only lose about one or two places. So we're going to end up round about here at worst. Come on, let's line up Rydell. Come on. Come to me, Rydell. Hmm. We've got a quicker entrance into that. There's another car ahead of him. So that must that's second place there. Let's visually see that. He's already picked though the um, my radio team say. Right. That's a quick lap, is it? Yep. Fastest lap. Half a second behind Rydell. Yeah, I don't know if it's too silly, so let's coast round here, right, inside, that's our best bet. Oh, have I got him? Whoops, who's that? Someone's just spam it, don't know who that was. Cool, I'm glad we did, we almost collected in an accident there. That was a close one. Right there looks a bit skinny in that car. <laughs> What's going on there? Right, second place. Who, who's in the lead? I think two cars might have touched each other and one span off. That's Baird in front of me. He's normally near the back, so he, he hasn't pitted yet. I hope. He's doing a very late pit stop. Is he going to go in the pits now? He is. Oh God, now we've got someone really close behind us. First. Right, it's just between me and you, Rydell. Boom. 10, 11 and 12. Hopefully we can lose this joker. I'm sure I can do this bend a lot quicker. But it will suffice. Oh God, he's right behind me. It will suffice at the moment. Two temps quicker. I don't like this at all. This looked great on the telly. Oh my god. One touch and I'm out. I think I'm holding him up, you know. This is going to be a pretty pressured last few laps. And this is the quickest I've ever gone round. According to the split time. Hit your apron. Oh dear, very wide indeed, E. But I've lost, I've got a bit of time there. Good. So just two laps to go. Oh, he's dropped way back there. Two laps to go. And that was my fastest lap. Hurrah! And I coasted it around a bit of this. Whoops, turned in a slightly too early there. Maybe a bit too cautious. 
And that was too. This will be the slowest I've done so far, I think. Ricardo Rydell, eight temps behind or nine temps, really. I think we're going to get two wins here. Good stuff. Talk about talking, counting your chickens in your basket or something. <laughs> that, that isn't even a phrase. My brain's gone to mush. Let's just guide this tin of metal to the end. It's a Renault Laguna. Right, Rydell's seven temps now. More or less. But, you know, he's not going to beat me under braking. The only way he's going to beat me is if I drive off the circuit. And I'm not going to, am I? No. Yeah, so that was the slowest lap by 1.2 seconds. Look, he's way back. Thanks team, I was aware of that. Right, so this is a potential place I can spin off, so I uh, take it gentle around there. There we go. Long straight. And then that really tight uh, right-hander. Well, a sweeping left-hander, then a tight right-hander. Just be cautious through there, and I'm cooking. It's going to be quite a close race, this. Break. That'll do. So you take it easy, and then, uh, then I seem to drive better. Right, there's only one place I can muck up now. Full speed round here. Ease off slightly earlier. Take it easy round the chicane. Floor it early. I win the race. There's the chicane. Wide again, but that should be okay. Yes, we've done it. First place for me, coming up. Two first places. Kaboom! Well, you know, this championship's for the taking now. View replay? No. So, let's see the final result. Where's Reed? Everything fell into place for the new Renault driver there. Reed's not he there. Up another Maybe he's Span. Maybe he's the, the chap that's Span. This is looking a bit good. Yeah, look at that. The Nissan boys, 15th and 16th. Last. Well, it's all coming up roses now. Renault Laguna must be beating Nissan. That was a great result then. Derek Warwick, 9th. Hooray, I've won again, everyone. I hope you haven't moved from last time. They're clapping a bit early. Yes, who's that bloke in the middle with the brown coat on, looking a bit weird? Is that Freddy Krueger? He's looking at something, my left tyre. Anyway, I hope you enjoy yourself, mate. And there are the That's a big lead. Look at that, a 31-point lead. I don't want to say this is in the bag, but this is looking pretty season. good. We can and probably have a bit of fun now. At the top of the table I am. Look, Rydell's nowhere. Menu's nowhere. Reed, 30 points. You get 15 points per win. Even if you run the next two races, I scored nothing. I'll still be leading. Snetterson, round 15 and 16. Renault lead. Great stuff. Well, join me for the next round. As I say, I think we're at Fruxton, and I think it's foggy, and it's blooming awkward. I hope you liked having a look at those rounds. Thanks for watching, as always. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.